It's son. How's the flight up? Fine. It's going up. Good. Your Aunt Margaret feeds me like I'm going to the electric chair. I can do that. Copy? Yeah, please. I'll be back to take your order. Look here. How the hell you stay so thin? Aggravation. I remember aggravation. You remember Ray McElwain? What happened? I got transferred to seven four. Oh yeah. How's he doing? Hmm. His wife passed. It's been uh, kind of tough. Maybe I'll come by, say hello. No, I, uh, I think he's a little sensitive seeing guys from his old house. Oh, sensitive about being transferred, huh? Maybe I'll hold off. So, when's this uh, retirement racket? Actually, I'm not up here for retirement racket. I've been having some heart problems. What kind of heart problems? Last month I had some kind of incident. Uh, they said my arteries were blocked. You had a heart attack? I didn't have a heart attack. The doctors called it an episode. Last month this happened. I didn't want to worry. Oh, yeah, that's good, Pop. Keep it from me. If anything happens, I'll find out from my Margaret. I didn't see the need. You get all exercised. Just like with Mom. You know, six months after she's diagnosed, I found out about it. That was her preferring it that way. What'd you come up here to have it done? An angioplasty. I put a balloon in there. I know what it is. I check in the Lutheran Hospital late this afternoon. All goes well. I should be out in 48 hours. You got to go to work? Go ahead. I'll stop by after my tour. Turns out it'll just be me. KG's doing business, vicinity of the Grand Court. Do what you gotta do, they don't get too comfortable. Dying. Oh Where legs come from? I'm dying over here. Whoa. Conditions of increased price activity along Pacific Street, we are uh, addressing with an undercover unit, drawn from anti crime and patrol. They'll be locking up Hookers and John's Bolt. I give their social life a shot in the arm. Finally, some of you may have heard, Patrolman Arthur Fuller, the 6'8", passed away. Now, those of you who knew Art, no doubt will be shocked and appalled to learn he died in a bed other than his own. Those wishing to pay their respects, it's Levine Shen Le Mortuary, tomorrow afternoon, 3 o'clock. Have a safe tour. Fall out. You staying up nice studying for the sergeant's exam? Working a second job to buy my mom a car. Oh, yeah? Looking to surprise her for her birthday with the sport utility vehicle. Some reason she's crazy about them. That's great. How's Kathleen doing? Good. She make mention of me at all when you talk to her? Sure she does. That's good. I'm hoping the two of you can work this out. 
Maybe when this Donovan thing's not on everybody's mind, we won't. second time around. How you ladies doing? It's fine, darling. How you doing? Well, I'm doing great. Who's your friend over there? How you doing, baby? What's your name? I'm Comfort. What's it gonna cost to get to know you better, Comfort? How much better? Half and half. Mm, half and half is a hundred. You gonna holler my name? What's your name? Superman. You all right? How you doing, gorgeous? Doing good. How you doing? You ready? What's it gonna cost? Oral's 25. Just take it out of your pants first so I know you're in a cop. Sorry, lady. You're under arrest. Oh, come on. You shouldn't be out here doing this. Don't you come here some slack? Come on, I'm from Riverdale. You know what, say? This is a good color for you. Brad Bastard sees me before roll call and I don't say nothing to him. Ask me if I got a problem. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I got a problem. Me and every other cop here only the spinal sap rat himself. <laughs> Excuse me. Could you tell me where I'd find Sergeant Donovan? Try one of the rat holes in the basement. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for Frank Donovan. Let's see if I can scare him up. Who's asking? Gene Donovan. Oh, uh, pleasure to meet you, sir. I'm Richard Santoro. Nice to make your acquaintance. Hey, you'd like to have a seat? I'll, uh, I'll get him. Gene! Ray McElwain. How the hell are you? I'm good. Frank mentioned to me that you was at the 7-4. Yeah. So, uh, what brings you up from Florida? I'm up for a medical procedure tomorrow. It's nothing. I heard about Sally. I'm real sorry, Ray. She was a super lady. Yeah, I appreciate you saying so. Yeah. Is uh, Frankie doing all right here? Yeah. Because I asked some guy where he is just now, and the guy passes a remark that Frank is a rat. Well, I don't think it's anything, Jamie, but you should probably ask Frank. Uh, listen, I, I gotta go. You gonna be around for one? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Good to see you. Uh, hey, good luck with that procedure. Yeah, thanks, Ray. Thanks. Pop, what are you doing here? Are you all right? Yeah, I had some time to kill before I checked myself into the hospital. Running into McElwain didn't seem to present a problem for him. Yeah? Good, good. Someplace we can talk. I gotta supervise a bunch of collars from the prosecutor. Take your time. Well, I'll come find you later. Mm. There's, um, there's coffee in the uh, sitting room. Hmm. Go ahead, make a remark. I don't want to make a remark. Everybody else made a remark. You make a remark, too. <laughs> Nona, I don't want to make a remark. I think you're beautiful. You have to get inside. I said something inappropriate. I'm sorry. It's fine. You didn't do anything, neither did I. Right. Well, 
Last name? Matarasso. Lorraine Matarasso. You all right? Fine. Address? 1321 Baltic Street. Are we going to make day court? No problem, we should. I still won't make it in time for the lunch crowd, if that's what you're worried about. Do you have any uncared for dependent children at home? No. Do you want to make a phone call? No. I have asthma and I forgot my inhaler is, uh, is why I ask if we're going to make day court. You want to see a doctor? No, it's all right. As long as we make day court, I'll be all right. convention back there. Frank, you pick up every cross in the command? Yeah, just the morning shift. Emery Kersey, Gene Donovan. Your dad? In the flesh. Well, I finally get to meet you. We were just on our way into the city. Nice to meet you. Same here. Not the same job no more, Frankie. I know. <laughs> Called your Frank instead of Sergeant Donovan. A couple of patrolmen making wisecracks about a sergeant. Don't care who hears them. What kind of wisecracks? I asked where I could find you. He said, look down a rat hole. Every house has its malcontents. So there's nothing to it. Some guy's always going to say something, Pop. Some guys, they're asking a question. They can't give a straight answer. It's been a situation here, recently. A couple of days ago, I announced I've been an IAB field associate since the academy. What the hell are you talking about? I am about? not particularly proud of myself. Obviously, some people are going to have a hard time with me because of it. What happened to everything I tried to teach you, Frankie? Did I go up and smoke? No. What happened to keeping faith with your fellow officers? To being a stand-up guy? You pissed on all that? It was circumstances. Circumstances? What circumstances? They caught you dirty? No, no, no. On second thought, there is no good reason. Pop, you got this procedure tomorrow. Yeah. Ain't nothing more to say? Change the subject. No, I'm saying we don't need to be discussing it now. Anything happens tomorrow, I'd hate like hell to think my last thought in this world is that my son's a rat. Hey, Sarge. Rusikov, what is going on with you? My mom turns 60 next month. I've been working nights in a mortuary to buy her a car. I read the permission form. Should I enter it in a roll call? You're going to be asleep on your feet until the car gets bought? No, Sarge. I think you're moonlighting more than 20 hours a week. Even if you're not, you can't come to work like this. Don't worry, Sarge. I'll get some sleep. Good. Is everything all right between you two? Everything's fine. It's a heart attack, doesn't tell me about it. 
He had a heart attack? Heart episode. He's up here for an angioplasty, which he also didn't tell me about. That typical? Him keeping secrets? Pretty typical. Hmm. It's hard to imagine how a person can keep secrets from someone they love like that. Maybe I send him flowers? He doesn't want flowers. Everyone wants flowers when they're sick. So send him flowers. Ray? Hey, Sarge. Your dad going in today? I told you that, huh? Am I asking uh, what type of procedure? Angioplasty. I want to hear they have pretty good success with that. I spoke to the doctor. He said there are a couple arteries that got to get unblocked, but my dad's in pretty good shape overall. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I hope uh, nothing I said today caused them any additional stress. I mean, uh, questions about your IAB situation, I maybe could answer a little better. He knows, Ray. I told him. You didn't take it too good. Not too good. I, I mean, you probably thought this through yourself. Forgive me for putting my two cents in, but maybe it helped matters your dad knew the circumstances. Nothing I can say. It's kind of changed his mind. Are you sure? You know, we leave things unsaid too long, Sarge. Sometimes we lose the chance, huh? At least that's, that's been my experience. Anyway, uh, I wish him I wish him all the best with the procedure tomorrow. Thanks. Can I ask a call for me? Second so. She said she had asthma. Is she sick? She's sick, but I don't think it's asthma. Matarasso. Thanks for coming. You gotta help me. What's wrong? It's just not right. I'm, I'm, I'm dragged in for three hours usually, and now I'm being held overnight. It don't make sense. They're being held overnight? Yeah, Brooklyn North Narcotics took down a big drug ring. They've got a ring that's tied up. They're not gonna make night court. How's your asthma? There's no way I can get out of here. You want me to take you to see a doctor? It's not my asthma. I gotta get out of here. There's nothing I can do. Until you make court, you have to stay here. Sorry. something to help you sleep? I'm supposed to forget what 24 years on the job taught me about rats on account of you're my son? You want to talk about this now? Oh, I'm supposed to forgive and forget. What I did or what you did? What's that supposed to mean? That means you want to talk about it. Let's talk about it. I know why you took early retirement, Pop. So you know. So what you did and what I did are related. Baloney. I took care of my own situation. No, I took care of your situation, Pop. I did. You think I needed you becoming a field associate? Off getting caught collecting money for a Christmas club? Off getting uh, a couple of suits? A winter coat on the arm? All that went away. I took early retirement. What about Tommy Donato, Pop? What about him? They had you on tape, taking money from him. I never took no money from him. What about the woman? You gotta tell me there was no woman. I don't know what you're talking about. In restaurants, in hotel rooms, at her apartment in Bay Ridge, they had it all, Pop. They had it and it was coming out. I tried to protect Mom. I tried to protect you. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong. But the way they put it to me, I didn't think I had a choice. First of all, they didn't have what they said they had. And second of all, I could have handled it. You could have handled it? That's right. And not going to prison? And not lost your pension? And not had mom find out night she thought you were out working, you were shocked up with your goon? You don't sit in judgment of me. I am not trying to sit in judgment. 
I'm trying to explain why I did what I did. I didn't spend my life to end up lying in a hospital, you sitting in judgment. I gotta live with my own kid being a rat for the last 15 years. I don't gotta live with nothing else. I got surgery tomorrow. Let me get some sleep. Patrolman Rusikov. Yes, yeah, Sarge. You get some sleep? Absolutely. Hector's gonna be stuck in court all day. I need you to ride with Clemmy. Maybe we just get a coffee. Any word on your dad? Just spoke to the doctor. Went good. Thank God. They didn't find no surprises. They didn't have to crack his chest. I expect to make a full recovery. You want to take some time, go over there. He don't want me over there. Why is that? The way them hospital gowns open on the back? That's it. I didn't do everything in front of men but Pete. Probably. Door open. Why is your shirt wet, Lorraine? I don't know. You don't know? I just generally sweat like a pig. Temperature's pretty cool in the cells. Well, sweating's off not feeling so great. That's from jonesing. I ain't holding myself out as no role model officer now, Pop. And I'm not concerned you're a junkie. What when I get achy? Do you have any children, Lorraine? I said no to that earlier. That wetness looks like you're lactating. I'm not doing that. You haven't given birth recently? No, I haven't. You have something to tell me. I'm prepared to help. The only help I need is getting out of here. How's it going? Good. You in a hurry? A little bit. Something with this pros we picked up yesterday. Continue the march. This Matarasso's wet on her chest. I think she might be lactating. So what? So she claimed no dependence. Maybe she has a kid. Didn't want to risk it gets taken away. Well, the kid's taken care of. There's no risk. She found out she was being held overnight. She was thrown. Possible has something to do with her drug-taking schedule? All I know is she has a kid and no one's taking care of it. It's been alone more than 24 hours. You want to go check? So we're verifying the address. Last time anyone verified a process address, Teddy Roosevelt was the police commissioner. Right, you got something better? No, that works good. Listen, uh, the captain's not in right now. I, I do not have that I got to get back. Ray, you got a minute? Yeah, sure, Sarge. nature of the death sergeant is to be something of a busybody, so you don't feel comfortable doing what I'm going to ask you, I'll understand. Okay. You knew Donovan's old man when he was on the job, right? Yeah. You any inkling why him and Frank are on the outs? My understanding is he found out about him being a field associate. That's what I figured. No, Jeannie, I'm not altogether surprised. Francis stepped up to help me, Ray, so... I'm feeling more than a little responsibility him being in this situation. Any chance you could swing by the hospital? I was going to stop by there after work. Donovan could use to have his old man in his corner right now. Anything you can say that might make the difference. Yeah, I'll, I'll do my best. Thank you. Super? Right. Woman lives in 1B. The whore, yeah. What do you need? Does she have a baby? A whole lot of stinking diapers if she don't. When's the last time you heard the baby? 
I don't know, sometime last night. Anyone else living there taking care of it? Not that I know of. We need you to open the door. The last time I was in there, I had to fix the toilet and she busted my balls. We need you to open the door right now. Seven four Charlie to Central K. Where's the blanket? Diane in front of me. Jack is too weak to move. Let's go. We'll take it ourselves. Disregard Central. Baby. There's a place around the corner where they sell gyros. Right across the street, there's a place they sell heroes. Come back, get me in a half an hour. It's gonna take you a half an hour to pick up a paycheck? I'm not just picking up a paycheck. I gotta lie down. Are you sick? <sighs> I'm dead on my feet, I Santoro Cena. All I need is to shut my eyes for a half an hour, I'll be fine. I'm gonna have to come wake you up. I got this alarm on this watch. I'm not sure how to set it. I'm gonna have to come wake you up. All right, where are you gonna be? In here. Am I gonna know where in here, Phil? I should probably show you. I hate these places. These are for when there's an open casket viewing, but the bodies are gonna be cremated. You gonna sleep in the coffin? As soon as my head hits the pillow. There's been dead people in there. Several hours. You are one twisted individual, Phil. Sleep deprivation is a serious condition. Oh my God. All I need is a half hour. Oh, satin sheets. Should I close the lid? Just hit the light. Hey, night, you sick bastard. This a good time. Should I come back? Ah, come on in. Nothing like a hospital make you feel sick, huh? Probably you put your share of time in it with your wife. If I meant she was still with me, I'd come back every day of my life, Jean, believe me. Frank been by. Sent the flowers. He's a good kid. He's, uh, he's going through a tough time, Jimmy. Mike came under the heading. He made his bed. Now he's got to sleep in it. Yeah, feel free to tell me to mind my own business. You forgiving him would mean a lot. How the hell do I do that, Ray? I raise him up. I teach him right from wrong. He goes out and becomes a field associate. We get these ideas that cripple us, Jeannie. I mean, like me being so whacked out over Sally's passing, I thought I had a mortal illness myself. Now I'm beginning to wonder. Maybe I ain't got that illness. The whole idea is me not seeing past the grief. To understand that, I, I had to get back in the world. You know? Just like you got to get back in the world with your boy. It's tough, Ray. Yeah, I know. How do I forgive him? I can't forgive myself. I'm not sure I know what you mean. Me being dirty on the job would put him in it. The rat squad put a gun to his head all the time they're working me from the other end. Three months in the academy, Frank's being asked to clean up my mess. That's in the past now, Gene. What do I say to him? Whatever the truth is, whatever puts you back in the world with the only son you got, feel better, huh, Jeannie?
hell's he doing here? What? That's the dead cop, Fuller. What the hell's he doing here? Oh, he's supposed to be up in Eternal Rest 1. Yeah, obviously, he's not in Eternal Rest 1. He's here. Let's get him up to where he's supposed to be. You know, from what it said in the papers, it sounded like he died in the saddle. At the home of a... Uh... Ms. Veronica so-and-so. Nice for his wife to have that in the paper. Yeah, well, you play your pay, right? Don't never like to see a cop in a coffin. Yeah, you're up in the chapel. No, no, no. I'm looking for a cop. White guy, stocky, 5758. Yeah, viewing's up in the chapel, around listen, the corner. Listen to me. He wasn't here for a viewing. Okay, he was in that room. Right over there. When was this? About a half hour ago. Sorry, didn't see nobody like that. He was sleeping. He was sleeping in the coffin. You see a cop in uniform sleeping in the coffin? You're kidding, right? How long before people leave? Viewings from three to five. So what do we do? We pray he stays asleep for an hour and a half. How could you do this to me? You cheating son of a bitch. Oh, wait, please keep it down, keep it down. Ten years I stood by you cooking and cleaning and waiting for you to come home. Ten years I spent trying not to think of the knock on the door where they tell you your husband's been shot dead. This is what I get in return. Those things are pretty much soundproof. I hate you! I hate you! I... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Stand up. You gonna tell me why everyone went to court but me? We wanted to keep you until we knew whether the additional charge would be endangering the welfare of a child or murder. Oh my God. We're waiting on word from pediatric intensive care. She did? No. <sighs> she was dehydrated, but she'll be all right. Oh, thank God. Thank God? You could have helped her yourself. I asked if you needed help. I'm so sorry. Why didn't you say something? I, I only thought I was going to be here for a few hours. Why didn't you say something? I didn't know what to do. Don't say that. You knew enough to say, Officer Valentine, I have an infant. Help me. Don't say you didn't know what to do. I was afraid it would take her away. That's what you got now, Lorraine. They're going to take her away? Oh, yeah. I was trying to provide for her. And buy a little heroin for yourself. I know I have a problem. Your child could have died because you were more worried about getting high than keeping her alive. <laughs> it's not true. Stop that crying. You don't deserve to cry. I'm her mother. You gave birth to her. I can take care of her. I can take care of her. No. Please. Don't take her away from me. Good luck, Lorraine. Thoreau said child welfare assumed custody. 
At least she doesn't have to face endangerment charges. Those alley cats won't do what she did. Yesterday, calling me in while she was lactating might have been to show me. You like to think. I don't excuse nothing. You were real good with that baby. Had it been all thumbs. Came natural. So, good, good work today. Jack? Yeah? On yesterday. What about it? I think we should forget it, haven't we? Technically, nothing did. Anything were to happen in that regard, it would be a mistake. Yeah, huh? It would complicate things, or it would make people unhappy. Which is why we backed off. Yeah. Iceberg avoided. Iceberg avoided. Good work today. This house don't have enough problems. You decide to write a new chapter. How to disrespect a fallen fellow officer. I plan a long letter of apologies. Shut to up, Bruce Akoff family. Shut up. Or maybe I should say that in another language. Since what I told you yesterday in English apparently did not get through. Luckily for you, Levine Schindler's got a long relationship with a job. I can talk to him. And that's sufficient. I will not have to notify the captain. I appreciate it, Sarge. Don't mean you're off the hook. I wouldn't assume so. It was an embarrassment to the uniform today. Embarrassment ain't the least of it. Phil, when you come to work dragging your ass like that, you endanger the lives of everyone around you. I don't know how to put it more plainly than that. The moonlighting's over. I take it the funeral home people had something to say to you. I was terminated. Should you feel inclined to seek supplementary income somewhere else, you will remember what I have told you today. This is my job, Sarge. This is it. Go write your letter. Last time, I wasn't sure you'd be coming by. Take more than that. Mm. I keep thinking about when you were little. I used to love putting on my uniform. Remember that? Sleeves hanging over your hands, hat over your eyes, asking what this ribbon was for, that ribbon. Seeing you take such pride in what I did, it made me proud. Probably shouldn't be talking too much right oh, now. I want to say this. Truth is, I did some things on the job I'm not proud of. I could blame it on money being tight, on your mom being sick, but that don't make it right. And when I got caught up, I try to work it out so you never know. So you keep on being proud of me. I find out what you had to do. I feel ashamed. You went from having a father you were proud of to a bum you had to clean up after. I'm as proud of you now as I ever was. I'm so sorry, Frankie. The mess I made. It's done, Bob. We're both here. We're talking to each other. That's what's important. 
Yeah. Can I get you something? You need anything? Magazine or something? Uh, I need a pee. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Uh, uh. A reminder, the precinct blood drives this Saturday. Those wishing to participate, sign ups out front. Anyone donated within the past 30 days or with a history of bloodborne infectious illness is ineligible. That's it. Sarge. What is it? Uh, you don't mind, I'd like to say a few words. I've been in the precinct only a couple of months, but I've been on the job over 24 years. God knows I've probably mentioned that fact to each one of you at least a few times. I don't know what that counts for, but whatever it is, I just want to say I'm proud to be working for Sergeant Francis Donovan. This notion he's a rat, I reject. I reject that notion. I'm not going to say what I know about how he came to work for IAB. But take for whatever my word's worth, there were reasons, and there were good reasons. And any one of us, any one of us, would have done the same. I say that having seen my share of good cops and bad cops, having seen my share of rats, and also having known a certain adversity myself. The job we do out there depends on trust. I trust this man. you feel that you can't trust them or you can't work with them, and I say transfer out. Or else maybe look a little deeper into your own selves. That's it. That's all I've got to say. Hola. Thank you. 